All right, hi there. Well, I wanted to show you guys my heater, my rocket mass heater with a window and an oven and just kind of show you how it's working. Um, it's the 24th, I think, of February. I've had this thing for a couple weeks now. It's snowing outside currently. Um, and yeah, here we go. People have been asking about the window, about how it breathes. Um, so I just wanted to cover a couple of those things. Uh, I'll just kind of give you an overview here as we'll walk around. Again, I gotta focus. So yeah, as you can see, I did just clean it. It it does get some soot on it occasionally, depending on conditions. So it's not perfect. Um, I've got a little bread <laughs> dough warming on that little warming plate. Uh, I kind of keep my sourdough going and feed it on the counter. So I always have some going, sort of combining the no-knead technique with uh, fermentation. And I can just grab a little ball of that anytime I want. So here's the feed tube. Now, one of the things I want to talk about was the window and the venting, um, or the way it affects the draft, I guess I should talk about. So my feeling is that, you know, we need constant uh, CSA, constant <laughs> cross-sectional area of anywhere in the system's um, flow. I read somewhere, maybe it was on Permi's Donkey, said something about restricting the feed tube. And of course, whenever you build your first one, and I haven't built many of these, but uh, I have built more than this one. And if you have, anytime I've built them, I've always played with the size of the feed tube using bricks or something to restrict it. Um, so at any rate, using this window with the door, the seal isn't really important. Uh, what's important is that you don't provide too much air, especially down here, or you will get smoke back. And we can really clearly demonstrate that. You can see it just as plain as day. If I open this, <laughs> of course it's going to defeat me now. But you can hear the difference in the, in the burn. Well, you can see it pulling stuff in there, can't you? and see it smoking, and it is smoking out the top a little bit, I don't know if you can see it. But as long as we restrict this a bit, you can have quite a bit of gap here because I've choked this down. This is an 8-inch system, and I'm running probably almost half that cross-sectional area in this feed tube, which I've been modifying its size using my composite technique, right? Mixing fiberglass strands with this cob and it makes a very, very solid material. I can bang this wood around on the edges and get a little powdering off the sides, but it isn't wearing away. So, when I go to cook in here, I can modify the temperature of my cooking area by a, of course, where I put this. And believe it or not, way back here is better than way up there. And B, how much I close this off. If I close it way off, uh, it gets really hot right there. But if I keep a little airflow going, I can keep that at a really nice baking temperature. I can maintain enough draft that I don't get any smoke back there. Um, so really, I guess what I'm trying to say is, this works great. There's not much to worry about with regards to um, drawing air from two places as long as you keep a mind to CSA for the whole system. Um, and again, temperature down here I can regulate via flow through the window door, through the door. Um, and I can also help control burning up there the same way. Sometimes when the stove's really hot, um, if it's really burning, which I don't usually burn it that hot, but if it is burning that hot, it will start pumping if I have this shut too shut down too much. That's because I restricted the airflow at the feed too much, kind of, uh, to compensate for having this. So 
you might see that as a good thing or a bad thing. Um, it does take a little tuning to compensate for a sort of lack of a seal here and for the ability for air to reach the wood from two places. But I do think that with a little experimentation and tuning, you can kind of uh, manage that to really end up with a really nice running stove. This thing is just running wonderfully uh, with the addition of that, with the latest restriction on that feed tube. As you can see, it looks like it's just kind of hanging out there, but up here we've got 450 degrees um, on the face. There's one on top, and it's looking like it's running up around 700. So that's burning pretty vigor vigorously. Um, so there you go. That's it for now. All right. <clears throat> so <laughs> everyone's curious about this. Um, it's time. I let this fire burn out. And we're going to go see what we got in there. Sounds good too. <clears throat> there we go. Some bread cooked in the rocket mass heater. It is hot. I'll pry it out of there and we'll take a look at it. I'll be back. Alright, <clears throat> back at this. I learned my lesson, that little thing's hot. <laughs> Ta-da! And there we go. My mini loaf of sourdough. Cooked right there. In the rocket mass heater. Oven. <laughs> uh, if you have cats, <laughs> you, you, you need to build them one of these. Okay.